this video, I'm going to show you how I created a baby shadow box. What you'll need for this project is a shadow box, a foam brush, and the color painting of your choosing, the certificate with the footprints, the announcement if it's a boy or girl, a hat, a diaper, the first shirt that they wear, a blanket from the hospital, the parents and the baby's ID bracelets, and of course, a picture. The last two things you're going to need is a hot glue gun and some pattern scissors. First thing is your background. I'm choosing to paint mine and I'm using a semi-glossy paint. I'm choosing black just because if I use white, then the shirt and some of the paperwork would blend in to the background. And I didn't want to use blue because the baby's room is already painted blue. So I thought black would be the best color to make everything that I'm putting into the shadow box stand out. I did two coats of paint, depending on the kind of paint that you buy, depends on how many coats you want. Um, I suggest two all the time just because it gives it a better coat and you won't be able to tell some of the imperfections in the painting. Some of the other things you can use is scrapbook paper or wrapping paper. The next thing I did was cut the baby picture with pattern scissors. You can choose any pattern you like and all I did was cut the top and the bottom but if you want to cut all four sides it's completely up to you. You can also add a family picture of the mom, the dad, and the baby in the hospital or you can do two pictures, one with mom and baby and the other one with baby and dad. It's completely up to you. Once your background is completely dry, you want to go ahead and start arranging the objects in the place that you want them or you think you want them, just to get a general idea before you start gluing stuff down and then you can't move it. Um, the shadow box come in different sizes and shapes, so you can pretty much pick whatever you want and put whatever you want into it. These are just some of the items that me and the baby's mom discussed that she wanted into it. It's actually for a friend of mine. Um, and you can move them around different places and arrange stuff differently, but this is the way that I found I like the best and fit the most stuff into it. And I recommend when you start to glue, to glue the biggest things, especially the stuff in the center, first, and then you start working around the edges. And with the paper certificate with the footprints and stuff on it, um, I wanted to use the least amount of glue possible so in the future if the parents want to take the stuff out of the box and keep it then they can do that without totally ruining it. For the diaper I closed you know I glued it's closed I mean the parents obviously aren't going to use this diaper again but I wanted to use it closed just because in the shadow box there is space and I didn't want it to like open up and come apart. And here you're going to see that I glued the pamper or the diaper too far down so I had to do some rearranging from my original plan which was fine and it's gonna happen but it turned out actually really well I think from the previous one it looks just as good but you also want to make sure that you're gluing the stuff down pretty securely because like I said before there is space between the glass and the actual objects so if it eventually gets hot or if it falls or something you don't want the stuff to come apart and again you can put anything you want inside the shadow boxes and most of the stuff obviously you know the baby it won't be able to use again but if the parents decide to take it down and maybe put it in a book or a um, keepsake box they can without completely ruining the items A suggestion or a tip when it comes to gluing down the baby blanket is the same thing as a diaper. Just try to glue it closed so it can't open or come apart when it's in the shadow box. And for the most part, when you're using hot glue on fabric, 
you can actually take the hot glue and pull it off eventually even when it's been stuck for a while and it tends to come off pretty easily. Now when it comes to the little shirt, I basically did the same thing as the diaper and the blanket. If your baby wore a onesie, then you would, if you want the whole thing to show, you would probably rearrange it differently. But I was going with the hospital theme and the baby's first few items. Obviously the diaper, he didn't use it, but it was one of the, you know, infant diapers and the little hat that he had was the first one that he had from the hospital. But it's completely up to you what you put into it and what theme you go for with your shadow box. And this is a shadow box that I'm using with the glass and the brace. And this is what the items look like when they're, everything's dried. And I'm just going to set that into the frame to show you guys what it looks like. I'm obviously not going to close it because I have to take the little post-it off the baby's face. But I wanted you guys to get a general idea of what it looked like. And I really hope you guys enjoyed. Please don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe. And I'll talk to you guys in my next video.